Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen. This is Hard Rock University. This is our new agitation tank and has two issues at the bottom that are kind of hard to solve from outside. Number one is when you turn off the pump, the solids are going to tend to slump down in there, run into the plumbing and plug things up. That would be a bad thing. Now the other thing is, you kind of like the the water or the solution that's being pumped in to be distributed horizontally. So to solve both problems at once I have this. This goes down into the uh, pipe that comes out the bottom of the tank. This goes through the top of the tank. There's a hole there that I got drilled. We'll go in there like this. And it keeps it so it's working up and down. To keep it from going up too much, I've got these holes drilled and I got a little pin that I'm going to put through there so that it can only come up so much. And this becomes both a check valve and a distributor. So let me get this installed here and we will see how it works shortly. Okay, we've emptied the tank of the first 500 pounds. That allows you to see the, the check valve mechanism. And the, you see it can only come up that high and all the liquid has to shoot out underneath it. If that's not tight enough I can always put a weight on top here. Anyhow, it's kind of drizzly today. So, here's 500 pounds, it's only a few inches deep, let's see, it's only a couple inches deep there, but that's the solution and 500 pounds of ore from the first test batch, I'm using the sand from that to start tying down further cushion out here and somewhere about here between the sandbags and that we're going to start building up a berm and eventually everything will be about two feet above this we may have to actually lift that tank up a little bit just to get more flow you can see I started that berm building over there and you just take your tailings and stack them higher and build a bigger pile. So anyhow that's where we're at now and it's not only a little too wet to uh, grind ore at the moment but uh, <laughs> I forgot to fill the gas can so we don't have the gas in the impact mill to even run it. So, that's life in the real world. Well, today the weather is suboptimal, but doable. There's Eva feeding the mill. There's a bucket of floor ready to go in the tank. And let me go up and show you the tank agitation now. Station. And uh, uh, turned out I didn't need those extra adjustment holes and the water coming in from below puts a lot of pressure to it. So <laughs> less than ideal. I'll, I'll replace that later. Here we have Eva feeding the mill. She's not the most experienced shoveler, so she's learning technique right now.
Okay, so we're at the end of another day. We started a new batch. The other one we had a pipe fitting come loose and I had to dump the batch and then redo it. Now all of those fittings are glued. And the student Roth two ton per hour mill with uh, screening and recirculation, we're getting about well, four or five hundred pounds per hour out of it. So yeah, the, there's a grid in there that has to be screened out again. And we have the screen on there. Oh, too noisy when everything's running. So here we have a thousand pounds of ore in solution. This is the thousand pound worth of solution. So it's doing pretty good. My estimates seem to be pretty darn good. And uh, got everything shut down so it's quiet. The conical bottom tank, got a distributor in the bottom. Very, very simple one, just that flat plate. Seems to be working out okay. Clean up the area here a little more. And uh, things seem to be going pretty good. Don't see any real issues at this point. Seem to get most, seem to have most everything tweaked. So now, we have a part of that trial batch where it started leaking on me there. I got it. Yeah. Still soaking through the pad here. And uh, building up over there underneath the cover tarp to keep out the rain. And this berm here is the edge of the current useful area. That little berm there. Is where we're going to be expanding to here soon. Right now, we can only do about a thousand pound batches, and that's where it is right there in the tank. So, getting the issues finagled, <laughs> and it seems to be doing okay, but I have no real results yet to compare things to. So we shall see what we shall see. In the meantime, we got about another, I don't know, ton, a little more than a ton of ore here. We have larger rocks over there. And then after that, we'll have to get back to the, uh, the mine itself. Uh, I think we got another like three weeks before they open it up uh, for transportation. But things seem to be going okay, and uh, we're getting it whipped into shape. So happy prospecting, and keep it safe out there.